Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike from Tiny Warriors. Uh, just wanted to hit you guys with a quick little modeling tip video uh, from something I came across while doing a quick run to uh, my local arts and crafts store. Um, this is materials that I found for jewelry charms, uh, but they're steampunk based items from a company called Solid Oak Ink, it looks like. And you can see clear as day, it says steampunk, and this is a pendant of some type. And you can see in the back, it's for uh, charms and necklaces and stuff. And the reason that I bought this stuff was I was looking for gears to uh, do some basing. And lo and behold, one day, I magically walked by a shelf, and there this stuff was. Um, the first thing I noticed were these two pendants. Now, if you look at these, you see they're actually heavy metal. You can see the little clock in the back, a little decal. But this one here, if you look at that pattern, ignore the little jewels. Uh, and you see in the back of the box, the back of the package, clearly says, if I can get it in the shot, maybe not, 40 millimeter. This is exactly a 40 millimeter Terminator size base. Now, for you guys who play uh, a war machine, this is a nice base right here. Now the thing is, this one thing costs six bucks. So nobody is going to pay six bucks for a single base. So, depending on your ethical view of it, um, I bought these to make rubber molds with, out of, and I'm going to cast them in resin. Um, this one's the 40 millimeter. Now, I, like just right there, that's a really kick-ass base. So, so that would be great for, like I said, war machine. Um, just you know your industrial, add a few little more details, maybe some pipes or something like that, you know, industrial theme bases. Now this one is not 25, it's a 30 millimeter, which is still, still within war machine size, but you could clearly see it's noticeably bigger than a, a 25 millimeter base for a, a Warhammer figure. But it is the same, same pattern, and I'm going to do the same thing with that. So I'm going to do that, but what they also had on the shelf was actual gears. Same principle. Now these are the some, well, these are the bigger ones. You can see here. I'm afraid to unpackage them. I get a little surgical slice. To get them out. Nice. Now these fit. This also was about five bucks. So this bag has uh, probably one, two, three, four, maybe eight gears in it of different sizes and shapes. Fits very nicely in the base. You can see like that. You can interchange a couple of them. Uh, maybe cut them in half if you want to. I was thinking of maybe like do a quick mock up here with some white clay. Yeah, you know, something like that for some kind of like raised earth and then you know, something like that. Be great for warjack bases. And then they come in the smaller sizes too. So these are great for twenty five millimeter bases. So if this isn't you know, this isn't the way to go because it's bigger for Warhammer figures. You can customize and make your own from this stuff. I don't know if you can get this particular thing online. Solid oak ink steampunk part jewelry jewelry parts. So that's basically what it is. You guys got to go to uh, hit your AC Moore or your Michael jewelry aisles because there's some sweet stuff just hiding there. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to... I already made a couple of quick mock-ups, but I'm using my two-part quick-setting uh, silicone putty. 
I made a couple of quick casts. Not casts, I'm sorry. Molds of two of the gears. Because what I want to do is I want to pour them in pour them in resin. And let me demold this one right here. And there's a nice easy little rubber mold. And I'm gonna use those to make custom bases, so you could probably use um green stuff, but I don't think it would be as effective. Uh, maybe epoxy putty, epoxy uh, glue, like JB Weld might be good, but um, I got white resin, so that's what I'm gonna use. So there you have it, guys. Quick tip, nice, cheap little inexpensive things for jewelry. Uh, like I said, this was about five bucks for this pack, and this one has two, four, six. This one has 12 gears in it. So, I mean, even if you only want to buy a couple of the packs to do some basing with, that's a good amount of parts to do bases. Uh, but I got my purple putty, silicone, made my little rubber moles, so I'm going to cast some of these in resin and break them in half and maybe do some raised elements like this for 3D and that's it hope this uh, is useful to some people and uh, see you next time